symbolizing the transformation into a different form of existence. Hello, my name is Manolis Mavris. I'm uh, the film director and writer of Midnight Skin. The main character of the film, of Midnight Skin, is, is called Fanny. She's a young nurse who works at a big public hospital. She's a very lonely character. She doesn't uh, connect a lot with people. In a way, that is the, the initiation of the problem of the story. She feels disconnected with the rest of the human beings. And uh, through the film, she she goes through a story that uh, alterly she, she deals with that problem. So my initial intention was to create a film that is not entirely a psychological thriller. And I think, in my opinion, it has worked. The, the film is split into two parts. The first part up to the half, up to the middle, is a psychological thriller and then it becomes a more existential film that has to has a slower pace and it's more introvert and it uh, depicts the problem of the character who's uh, socially alienated from the rest of the of the world so they're equally important one couldn't be done without the other and i mean the effect the film had to escalate up to an extent that we would all as an audience comprehend her choice of changing her life and going towards a different route, which is the unknown, but, but still much more um, calm and peaceful towards herself. The tree is an allegory. It's symbolizing the transformation into a different form of existence, uh, whatever it can be. The film is not dictating of what the tree means. However, I have my own opinion, obviously. Although. You know, the image of the tree and nature is a calming image. When it comes to her uh, nightmare, it uh, enhances a thriller aspect. Her dream is a, is a nightmare of, uh, and a very brutal nightmare of transforming into something different. However, when she lets go at the end, it's uh, freeing her and calming her. The tree that she's transforming into is an eucalyptus. First of all, because the eucalyptus tree has a lot of uh, resemblance towards the the human skin and the human body. It has also medical qualities, which links to the profession of Fanny, that she's a nurse at the hospital. So there, there are different uh, layers that uh, I've been trying to connect between the personality of the, of the character and the, the tree that she's transforming. In terms of the sound, both music and sound design, the guideline was to use sounds of nature in the very first part where you don't really understand what's going to happen. So they introduce subconsciously the problem of the, of the character and the tone of the film. And later on, they, they start to blend more organically towards the, the narrative itself. With the DOP, Manu Tilinski, that we always collaborate in my films, we had to make specific choices because there are many shots that are shot in the night, but some of them, they couldn't be done in night. They had to be day for night. So that was a very bold decision that we took, especially for the ending scene, that it created also this magical and mystery universe. We also had you know, the opportunity of using the light of the sun, which is, uh, it could lead massive uh, uh, landscapes, whereas it would be almost, it would be impossible in terms of budget to, to light. It was the, the right choice because of setting the mood for the transformation as well. So that, uh, that was a very big debate and I think we, did, uh, we took the, the right road. And the entire film is uh, it's low light, it's very dark. It is uh, almost in the verge of dark, so it, is, it was very sensitive in the way that we treated the colouring. <laughs>